Hello and welcome to this presentation on market failure and how government intervention can correct it. In a free market system, governments take the view that markets are best suited to allocating scarce resources and allow the market forces of supply and demand to set the prices. However, these markets often fail. This calls for government intervention to achieve a more equitable distribution of income and wealth, to improve the performance of the economy and to correct for market failure. There are a few ways the all-powerful government can do this. Firstly, legislation and regulation. The government can appoint regulators who impose price controls in most of the main utilities such as telecommunications, electricity, gas and rail transport. Regulation may be used to raise competition in a market, for example loosening existing monopoly power. Examples of legislation in the UK have included laws on minimum ages for buying cigarettes and alcohol, a national minimum wage, the Equal Pay Act and acts preventing other forms of discrimination, changes in the law on cannabis, Competition Act which penalises businesses found guilty of price fixing cartels, and previously stated government appointed utility regulators who impose price controls on privatised monopolies. Moving on, intervention designed to close the information gap. Market failure often results from consumers suffering from a lack of information. Government actions can have a role in improving information to help consumers and producers value the true cost or benefit of a good or services. Examples of this might include Improved nutritional information on foods to counter the risk of growing obesity Compulsory labelling on cigarette packages and health warnings to reduce smoking Anti-speeding television advertisements to reduce road accidents and advertising campaigns to raise awareness of the risks of drink driving and Information campaigns on the dangers of smoking addiction and binge drinking these programmes are really designed to change the perceived costs and benefits of consumption for the consumer. They don't have any direct effect on market prices, but they seek to influence demand and therefore output and consumption in the long run. Increasingly, adverts have become more hard-hitting in a bid to have an effect on consumers. The penultimate way a government can intervene to correct market failure is through fiscal policy. Fiscal policy can be used to alter the level of demand for different products and also the pattern of demand within the economy. Indirect taxes can be used to raise the price of demerit goods and products with negative externalities designed to increase the opportunity cost of consumption. Subsidies to consumers will lower the price of merit goods. They are designed to boost consumption and output of products with positive externalities. The government may offer financial assistance such as tax credits for business investment in research and development or a reduction in corporation tax, which is a tax on company profits, designed to promote new capital investment and extra employment. Finally, privatisation. Privatisation means the transfer of assets from the public sector to the private sector. In the UK, the process has led to a sizeable reduction in the size of the public sector. State-owned enterprises now contribute less than 2% of GDP and less than 1.5% of total employment.